Hello, welcome back boys and girls. Now we are going to journey on into chapter 2. Now as we have done earlier squares, we are now going to look about in cubes and cube roots. So what are cubes actually? Let's take a look. The cube of a number is the number multiplied by itself thrice. That is, if a to the power of 3 is given, it actually means a multiplied by a multiplied by a. It can be read as a to the power of 3 or a cubed or the cube of a. The cube of a is positive if a is positive. The cube of a is negative if a is negative. Dear students, this is the symbol for cube root. And if you see this, it can be read as cube root of a. The cube root of a number when multiplied thrice will give rise to that same number. For example, the cube root of a multiplied by the cube root of a multiplied by the cube root of a will eventually give you a. So boys and girls, since you have already known about squares, it's like approximately the same principle here. So let's take a look. I will show you some examples now. Now say for example, you are given this. 2 with this little 3 here. Now what is this read as? It can be read as 2 power 3, 2 cube, or the cube of 2. Now this actually means it is 2 times 2 times 2. That means the number is multiplied thrice, 3 times. Therefore, you will end up getting 2 times 2 is 4 times 2. The answer 8. Done. Simple, isn't it? I'll give you a few more examples. The next example that I'm giving you, say for example, this is 1. Now we're going to 2. Negative 3. The whole thing, cube. Now how do we do this? Follow the same principle. Negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. Put brackets just to make them neat. Okay? Alright. Thrice. Okay? Now, remember in chapter 1, we learned this principle of negative times with negative becomes positive, right? Now, you can do this again. Negative multiplied with a negative, you will end up getting a positive integer. So, I'm not going to write the positive. 3 times 3, 9 multiplied with negative 3. Now, positive multiplied with negative will become negative. 9 times 3, 27. Now, the answer is 27. Once you get the hang of this, what you can do is, you can do it at one go. Watch. Negative, multiplied by negative, think, positive. Positive, multiplied by negative, think, negative. See negative? You can do it at one go if you want to. Alright? Now, let's take a look at example number 3. Now, this example is going to involve a fraction. Okay? So, 1 over 2 whole thing is cubed. Simple, isn't it? 1 over 2, yes, go help me out. Multiply by 1 over 2, multiply by 1 over 2. Thrice, so it's going to be numerator, multiply with numerator, multiply with numerator. Denominator, multiply with denominator, multiply with denominator. Collect them all. 1 times 1 times 1, 1 over 2 times 2 times 2, 8. Done. Answer is 1 over 8. Okay. Now boys and girls, one last example for you here. Alright. Now this time, we have done all the cubes so far. So this time, I'm going to give you an example with this. Yes. Cube root of 64. Now, you have a task in hand. Your task is now to figure out what is the factor of 64. And remember, the number, if multiplied thrice, must give you 64. So, I've got this. I'm going to break it up like this. It is the cube root of 4 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 is 64. You see, I've replaced 64 with this. I want it to be thrice, so that I can work. Watch, watch. You will see what I'm meaning. It's the cube root of 4, multiply with the cube root of 4, multiply again with the cube root, 
of 4. Now, when we were learning square roots, remember, there was always the number 2. Now, we've got the number 3. But sometimes in square roots, we omit the number 2. We don't have to write the number 2. But in cube root, you must write this number 3 over here. So now, if the same number is multiplied thrice, so what do you get? Use the same principle that you learned in the previous lesson. The answer is 4. It's easy, isn't it? Okay. If this is easy, let's go to something that's really challenging us. Alright? So I'm going to show you a few examples now. Take a look at them. Now the task given to you students is to calculate and find the value for the following examples. Alright boys and girls, I really hope that you've already done the questions that I gave you. I hope you've got the solution. Now it's time for us to double check them. Alright, now let me do the working now. The first one, A. It was the cube root of negative 0 0.12345678 Seven with a two seven at the end. Seven zeros. There's a mighty lot of zeros there, right? All right. Not to worry. The tougher it looks, the easier it's supposed to be. Now, all you need to do now is figure out if there is a number that if it is multiplied three times, all right, multiplied thrice, will it give you twenty-seven? So the number that you will get eventually is three. Three times three times three should give you twenty-seven. Now, that's the only thing that you need to remember, because watch, I'm going to do the solution here. The cube root of this can be written down as 3 over 1000 times 3 over 1000 times 3 over 1000. Now, boys and girls, I want you to remember one thing. You see, there is a negative number here. So if there is a negative number, that means it's negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. How did I get by that? Because negative times negative times negative will eventually become negative. Do you still remember? Negative and negative, positive times with negative becomes negative. Make sure you pay attention to this part. Because the negative numbers will always be missed by students and you will pay for it with your marks. Alright, so if this is the case, now what I can do is this. Therefore now, we're just going to split them into 3. Cube root of negative 3 over 1000 times cube root of negative 3 over 1000 times cube root of negative 3 over 1000. Okay? Now, if I've got the same number thrice, what's the answer? Negative 3 over 1000. Voila. Simple, isn't it? Such a big number, but eventually when we follow the system, it becomes easy. Nothing is difficult. Alright students, I've showed you one working now. Now there's actually another type of working that we can do. We can, instead of using fractions, we can turn them into decimals. So, 3 over, sorry, negative 3 over 1000 can also be written as negative, one, two, three zeros. So you jump 3 times to the left, you remember all that? 0 0.003, right? So now, watch this. I'm going to very quickly do it for you, alright? It can also be written like this cube root of negative 0 0.003 times negative 0 0.003 times negative 0 0.003. Let's put the point here. Okay. Now, it can also be written like this. It depends on which way that you are comfortable with. So what we're going to do now is, we're going to split them all up, okay, goes to cube root of negative 0 0.003 times cube root of negative 0 0.003 times cube root of negative 0 0.003. Okay, so if it's thrice, like you know already, 
the answer should become negative 0 0.003. Same answer. All right, just in different forms. If question asks you to leave it in fractions, this is your answer. Question asks you to leave it in decimals, then this is your answer. All right, since we've done a difficult question, let's take a break with the easier question. All right, now let's go to B. Now B is negative 0 0.5 power 3 or cube. Okay, all right, now this would simply mean you write them thrice, negative 0 0.5 multiplied by negative 0 0.5 multiplied by negative 0 0.5. Three times, let's put up a bracket, let's put up a bracket and a bracket. Okay, so since it's thrice, let's do this, negative multiplied by negative multiplied by another negative, so you've got three negatives here. All right, but I will do it step by step for you. Negative and negative becomes positive. I'm not writing it down. 0 0.5 times 0 0.5. I'm telling you that this answer is 0 0.25. Now, how did I get this? How did I come so fast here? Now, this is because 5 multiplied by 5 is 25. One decimal place, another decimal place. So the product must have two decimal places. One, two. Get it? All right, that's how I did it. Now, continue. Positive multiplied by negative becomes negative value. 0 0.25 multiplied by 0 0.5. How much is 25 times 5? 125, right? So, 1, 2, 5. Okay? How many decimal places? 1. 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, this is where your decimal is, the zero in front, voila, you see, it was easy, isn't it? Now, the last question that we're going to discuss, okay, let's see whether you have done this right or not. Now, this is the question, 2 plus cube root of negative 64 but the whole thing is now squared. Okay, now this looks like a bit more challenging, isn't it? Don't worry, we'll do one at a time first. Now, let's solve these boys and girls. So, first I'm going to tackle the cube root. Once I've solved this, then only I'm going to go to the rest. So, leave the bracket, leave the 2 and the plus sign here. Now, the cube root of negative 64 can be broken down into negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4, right? And the whole thing is squared, okay? Don't get confused with so many operations involved here. Do one at a time, it will be easy. Now from your experience so far, you already know that what we need to do is, we've got to split them up, okay? So let's do them, 2 plus cube root of negative 4 times cube root of negative 4 times cube root of negative 4 and the whole thing is squared. If it is repeating itself thrice, then the answer would simply be 2 plus negative 4 and the whole thing is squared, right? Now I think we can go to, your, to our answer. 2, there's a positive sign here, bracket, negative sign here. We have to change the sign to only one of it. So now this will become positive times negative, negative. Now, 2 minus 4, that's what we want. 2 minus 4 is, 2 minus 4 is, remember line, the number line, and you move 4 ways that side. So it's going to be negative 2 squared. Now, how do we do negative 2 squared? Okay, I'm going to extend it over here now. Okay, check this out. Negative 2 squared can be written as negative 2 times negative 2. Negative times negative. 
will give you positive. Do I need to write? No need. 2 times 2, 4. Voila, that's your answer. So you see, working looks a lot, but why? Because I want to show you step by step on how to do it. Now once you master it, I would not doubt your skill in doing any of these questions in your school exams or in anywhere for that matter. So with that boys and girls, we have done chapter 2. And since we have done chapter 1 and 2 already so far, I hope you go back home and make sure you continue working on your exercises. Good luck with your mathematics. Thanks for watching ITTV.